Hi to low, look out below. We hear this memory aid all the time for thinking about altimeter errors. Let's see what it's illustrating in a real scenario. We're departing London, Kentucky on a straight, short VFR flight of about 150 miles to Hickory, North Carolina. The altimeter reporting here is 3039, which we have set into the altimeter, and which is reading the field elevation of about 1200 feet. For this scenario, we're going to be flying to Hickory, which is reporting an inch lower pressure, 2939. In reality, this big a drop off in pressure on a flight of this length would only be found flying through some severe weather in a low pressure system. But it's going to work to illustrate our flight from high pressure here in Kentucky to low pressure in North Carolina. We're traversing the Appalachian Mountains and we find the highest MEF on our route is 6,600 feet. So we're going to plan our eastbound flight at 7,500. This isn't a huge margin, but let's say we couldn't cruise any higher due to clouds. Also, I think you see what we're getting at. If you look at the flight profile in ForeFlight, you see that we get just over a thousand feet of clearance over our highest obstacle on the flight route. We depart and climb up to our cruise of 7,500 feet. Have a look at the GPS computed altitude on ForeFlight. It's also showing 7,500. In reality, this wouldn't always equal true or absolute altitude due to temperature effects and other factors. But here, we're gonna use this as a stand-in for our actual altitude above sea level, Right now, it agrees with what's on our altimeter. Along the way, we're going to be flying through progressively lower pressure air. High to low, look out below. Let's see what happens when we decrease the air pressure a quarter inch of mercury. The altitude suddenly reads too high. We're on autopilot, pegged to hold 7,500 feet, so it'll initiate a descent to get back to 7,500. In reality, this pressure change will happen continuously, so the autopilot will correct without us even really knowing about it. We haven't changed the altimeter setting, and it's now one quarter of an inch too high compared with actual air pressure reporting in the area. Have a look at the GPS altitude now compared with the indicated 7,500 feet. What's happening is that the air pressure has decreased. This is the same thing that happens when we climb. So the altimeter thinks we've climbed and reads higher. The autopilot responds by descending and getting back to the desired altitude. Let's switch the MFD over to look at relative terrain heights. The screen is mostly black, but there are a few small patches of green out there. The legend in the lower right of the screen tells us this means terrain is between 1 and 2,000 feet below us. We'll keep referencing that as we go. Later on, we change the weather again to make it even lower pressure. Once again, the altimeter interprets the decreased pressure as an increase in altitude and reads higher, and the autopilot responds by flying us lower. As the autopilot quote unquote corrects our altitude by flying lower, have a look at the topographic map again. As our altitude gets lower, we see a bit more of those areas of terrain creeping up on us. This is going to happen continuously throughout our flight. We get to the base of the Appalachian Mountains and we're going to drop the air pressure again consistently flying from high to low. Our true altitude, represented here by the four-flight GPS altitude, shows us creeping below 7,000, but the altimeter still thinks we're at 7,500. We see a bit more green on the MFD and start seeing some yellow areas too, indicating terrain less than 1,000 feet below us. We get into the mountains and we're going to drop the weather one last time. We're now a full inch of mercury below where we took off, and what we still have dialed in on the altimeter. Now, as we descend, look at those greens and yellows popping up. There's terrain less than a thousand feet beneath us just ahead. We've flown from an area of high pressure, 30, 29 inches of mercury when we took off, to an area of low pressure, now 29, 39. As we've flown from high to low, we look out below and that terrain is right below us, not too safe. Let's say we just now realize our error, listen to a local AWOS that's reporting 2939 and dial that in. The altimeter reads much lower now and the autopilot will now climb us out of trouble. And as we get higher, we watch those low terrain areas start to dissolve away. The obvious mistake we made is not adjusting our altimeter during flight. When you're on flight following, ATC will provide a local altimeter setting to you each time you check in with a new sector. If you're not talking to ATC, you can dial in a local ATIS or AWOS station and listen to the reported altimeter. Either way, you should make sure you're staying current on the altimeter reading. Otherwise, if you find yourself flying high to low, look out below. Check out Flight Insight Ground Schools at the link here and in the description today.